Recipes, it's Kate from Herbivore's Kitchen. Today's video is coming to you from inside my greenhouse. If you follow my stories, you might already know that I'm a home gardener slash backyard farmer. I love eating what I'm able to grow and my greenhouse is one of my favorite places to be. And I have a treat for you guys today. I've been hard at work on a how to grow microgreens at home guide and this video is the last piece to the puzzle. As you may already know, microgreens are tiny versions of many common vegetables and herbs. Some of my favorite microgreens to grow include arugula, which I'm going to show you today, broccoli, beet, basil, cilantro, and mustard. Unlike the full grown plant, microgreens are harvested after the first leaves appear. This makes them not only easy to grow at home, but also a good source of nutrients and flavor. You can grow microgreens inside outside or, as I'm demonstrating today, you can grow them in a greenhouse. They require little space or maintenance, making them a great option for a gardening beginner. There are some tricks to the trade though, and that's what I want to show you in today's video. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out my seeds. And for the size of planter that I'm going to use, I need about a tablespoon of the seeds. These are arugula seeds. Then I'm gonna add them to this dish and add some water and I'm gonna soak the seeds overnight. And the reason I do this is so that the seeds are better prepped for germination. While the seeds are soaking, I'm gonna prep my soil. For the planter that I'm using, I need about six cups of this organic soil. And as I prepare it, I'm gonna add some water to it, mix it up until it's the right consistency for planting the seeds. So as I'll show you here in a second, it's wet, but not soaked. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Then I'm going to um, start preparing my planter. So I use these um, plastic containers. They're very shallow and I'm gonna pack it full of this wet organic soil that I've just prepared. And one of the things that's really important is that prior to putting the dirt in there, I've made sure that the um, planter is very clean. So you wanna start with a clean one. After the dirt is packed in, I'm going to um, use these unbleached paper towels and I'm gonna measure it out here so that it fits perfectly over the top of the soil. Then I'm gonna take this paper towel and I'm going to saturate it with water. Um, I want it to be pretty wet. So this paper towel is eventually going to be um, covering the seeds and it's going to mimic the seeds being underground for the first part of germination. So it's going to <clears throat> keep the sunlight away for a few days. Then I'm gonna take my seeds that have soaked overnight. They're um, a little bit um, soft and they make this kind of paste and I'm gonna spread them out evenly over this paper towel. And it's important to get um, them as spread out and as even as possible because each one of these seeds hopefully is going to become a microgreen. So you don't want them all clustered in one space. So I'm just gonna keep spreading it out. And then now I have my paper towel completely covered with the seeds in the way that I want. I'm gonna flip it over and put it face down in my planter and press the paper towel and the seeds into the dirt. I'm just gonna get it straightened out here and then press it down so that the seeds are in contact with the dirt. And now I'm just gonna take a second paper towel and I'm gonna measure out that little bit um, to cover up the rest of the planter. Same thing, I'm gonna saturate the paper towel so that I can add my seeds. And then as I did before, I'm gonna add the seeds by spreading them out and making sure that I cover every bit of the paper towel. There it is there, you can see, and now I'm going to flip it over so that the seeds are in contact with the dirt over the, in this um, remaining square, press it down. And then I'm going to, again, um, add some water. So I want my planter to be very wet, but not sopping wet. So that's where I have it right now. Now I'm just gonna move the planter. I'm gonna put it on this shelf in my greenhouse and we're gonna wait and see um, what happens when we grow these uh, microgreens. So um, the second day in, I'm just gonna go in. My planter has dried out a little bit. So I'm gonna again, saturate it with water and I'm just gonna take a peek. That was day two. This is day three. I'm taking another peek to see where my greens are at. And now this is day five. And as you can see, the microgreens have pushed the paper towel up and they are well on their way for harvesting. So now all I need to do is keep this wet. And after about five more days, my microgreens will be ready.
Thank you.